Hello, Americans. Another friend and subscribers around the world. Back again, man. So this morning, man, it's early. I don't know what it is, man. 5, 30, 6 o'clock, something like that. And... Yeah, man, I, for the, we're just slammed for the next few days, so I'm going to try to slide, you know. I always try to get you a video a day, man. So I'm going to do whatever I can to get, I will do some filming. We've got a lot going on that I probably won't. I'm just really, really busy, man. And then on top of that, they are predicting, I ain't going to pull it up. i got some things I'm going to read you. But um, they are predicting... On this Sunday or Monday? All right, I'll try. Jeez, here we go, man. Let's see if I can lose all the stuff that I've been lining up. I, mean, I got all kinds of crap for you this morning. Figure we get up here and do some fear mongering. <laughs> okay, let me see here. They are saying. Okay, Sunday, man. Sunday, we're going to start dropping. And actually, Muskrat had sent me a thing yesterday. And I think this is probably, I don't know if he was talking about tomorrow or when he was talking about it, man. They're calling over there in uh, Salmon. Oh, man, what did he tell me? Was it like 14 below or something like that? We're talking below zero here starting Sunday. We've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, man, we've got a big, first we, first we got two days chance, Friday and Saturday, chances of, uh, what is it, man, 50, 60% chances of snow. So we're going to get some snow, and then it's going to turn into this freaking weather, man. So that's where we're at with that. This morning, uh, started getting into it. Actually, the, man, the one thing I was following, uh... Last night, because last night, Max Kevin D was here, so we went out to Katie Joe's and uh, had be or, uh, deer stew, man. It was excellent. And, you know, played with the grandkids, stuff like that. And as we were out there, they had actually made a bust in our in our county. <laughs> Dude, the loonies are already coming, man. Here comes the zombies, man. Hold on. They look like a couple of zombies. But, uh... So I'm going to touch on that, man. They got busted last night. And then another thing that came on to Kitty's thing is Idaho, right now, legislature and droop and <laughs> introduce, yeah, I'm still asleep, so hang with me, introduces bill to prohibit vaccine or vaccine material in food. It's one of the fear mongering things, man. When I talked about that, uh, I don't know, quite some time ago, man, I'm like, dude, they're going to try to put that shit in our food. And, uh, you know, that's when I get some of that, you, man, you're just fear mongering, blah, 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 blah. Well, that's funny. Why is, uh, why is the legislature starting to try trying to, uh, pass a bill to, uh, prohibit that? Hmm. And then, Another thing that I'm going to touch on, oh, yeah, that man, some Adapt 2030, man, I was listening to his podcast this morning, I just got this one section I want you to listen to, man, uh, I don't know, the one thing I'll tell you about Adapt 2030 that, man, you can go over there, we'll check out his, uh, man, if I remember, I'll put the link, man, I make no problems, I always forget to put the links, but Adapt 2030 on YouTube, and he's got a bunch of other places where he talks and stuff. But if you listen to today's, and it actually, it's actually he's on something. It's like an interview with him. But he talks about some things they're doing or been doing and if it plays out. But is, I don't know, if, I can't remember if exactly if it's happening right now. But they're dumping because the Mississippi River is so low that they can't run, you know, boats or whatever up and down that. And so they're dumping grain on the banks of the Mississippi for a 100 mile stretch, 200 mile stretch. And he is predicting, man, that they're going to dump all this grain, you know, with little temporary tarps over the grain. And then he's predicting that there's going to be a huge flood, maybe man caused, that's going to wipe out all that grain. So great. 
And then, man, I listened to that. I'm telling you, man, he hits stuff on so much that he hits way more right than he ever hits wrong. So, you know, not that he knows everything, but it's definitely, uh, the things he's got to say is definitely something to pay attention to. Anyway, let's get going started here on this. Let's start off with this uh, legislature thing. I'm just going to read this. I don't know if I'll read the whole article, but I'll read some of it. Hopefully, I didn't just lose it. Okay, so I just read that. Idaho legislature introduces bill to prohibit vaccine or vaccine material and food. Senator Tammy Nichols said in committee, or committee vaccines are being introduced into food for human consumption. This is in Boise, Idaho. A Republican Idaho senator introduced a bill on Tuesday to the Commerce of Human Resources Committee that would prohibit vaccines or vaccine materials in food with the exception that consumers are notified. Senator Tammy Nichols introduced the draft legislation for printing which would amend the Idaho Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. The bill would prohibit the manufacturing and sale of food with a vaccine or vaccine materials unless there is an alert present notifying consumers of the materials. Nichols said in the Tuesday meeting that in California, they've been given grants to start introducing vaccine products into food for human consumption and said it is a newer type of proceeding President being set worldwide. People want to know what's in their food, Nichols said. I do know of Miranda, MRNA is the one that they're looking at trying to add it into. Right now, lettuce for public consumption. The committee inquired about the piece of the legislation and whether or not that would prevent pertain to livestock and affect livestock owners. Nicole said she would provide more information when the bill receives hearing, a hearing. According to the University of California Riverside Press release from 2021, researchers at this school were given a $500,000 grant to test if mRNA can be hosted in plants like lettuce and spinach with a long-term potential goal for people to choose to grow them in their own gardens. If the attempt is possible, it is unclear if Nichols was referring to this study in particular. Anyway. Just reading. Even if such thing were possible, there is a very long distance between a successful laboratory experiment and any kind of inflammation. Like any drug, we fully expect any commercial product resulting from this search would be highly regulated. Bernstein lawmakers as well as companies and commercialized drugs generally determine where and how medicines are sold, not the researchers who develop them. So it's just a going back and forth on that. Um, vaccinations can improve overall herd health, <laughs> resulting in and decrease death loss and improve productivity. In addition, vaccinations can improve reproductive efficiency by reducing infertility and fetal deaths and abortions. So, uh, shazam! <laughs> Dude, I freaking talked about this, you know, and talked about them doing that, uh, it was months ago, man. You know, just mentioned it in something, and I got the fear mongering, and you're freaking uh, spreading rumors and all that horse shit. Well, look at that, man. How that now they're talking about it down boys down at the state house, man. So there you go. There's that. All right, now move on to the next great news in this uh, beautiful world we're living in. Okay, let's see. I think I got it on there too. That was one. I just want to share all these things, man. I just share the facts. I've talked about it, man. We just did a video, a couple videos about it. Dude, I just, man, I I find something, read it, and then I find, a, find it a couple other places, and then I share it. The facts, man. Whether it's true or not, man, do your own damn research, man, and then you can believe it or whatever, man. I research it until I feel like it's the story and the truth. 
Okay. So now, this is in my county, man. This is, dude, I'm in the middle of nowhere, Idaho, and they're coming. Whew, this is off of the Adams County Sheriff's Office. On January 24th, 2023, at approximately 1430 hours, an off-duty officer observed a white spray-painted Dodge pickup acting suspicious and believed the occupants were casing possibly several residences on the Council Cooperum just outside Council City limits. You know, Council's the town down the road here. At 1440 hours, Adams County Sheriff's Deputy made a traffic stop on a vehicle matching the same description. Subsequently, another deputy was called to the, a burglary at Council Mini Storage where multiple units were broken into. The witness described the above Dodge truck and its occupants later identified as Jocelyn Merlin Japheth, 19 of Nyssa, Oregon, and Hernandez... Micah Lee, 24, of Ontario, Oregon. Both suspects were booked into the Adams County Jail. Jocelyn was charged four counts of burglary, and Hernandez charged with four counts of burglary. Possession of controlled sub substance, methamphetamine. <laughs> Dude, I'll show you a picture of them. <coughs> there, I told Kitty when I first seen on a couple of tweakers. Okay, possession control some possession of paraphernalia and introduction of contraband into a correction facility. Do 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 if you have any reason to believe that you were a victim to this crime, please contact the sheriff's office. Yeah, so uh Yeah, looks like tweakers to me. So anyway, man. Dude, these flatlanders, drugged out flatlanders. Uh, come up to our county. You know, we got a big county. Or, you know, go into the little town down there, whatever. <laughs> Wherever they are, man. And dude, they just think they're just going to pull into the county and case out something. And I was actually, or the kids was actually reading before they even got caught. Car, you know, we're over there at dinner and stuff. And uh, Cara didn't make it over to the dinner. So she was texting, man, and all of us were texting back and forth all this information, you know, because there's like a, uh, oh, what, I don't remember what they call it, but it, for the county, there's a, it's a Facebook group, you know, and it's basically just the local, <coughs> local BS space. I don't get on there too much. Anyway, but I watch it and I listen, man. I'm a stalker. <laughs> but anyway, man, they were all talking about that, and somebody had actually. Uh, before the cop had seen the suspicious activity, somebody else had actually seen it. It's like, who's these? I'm telling you, man, you don't just roll in to a county, you know, especially a rural, uh, not a lot of us here type county, and everybody up here, we watch plates, license plates, man. So you don't just roll in here with Oregon license plates and start going down the back roads and the dirt roads and all that and start casing out places. You're going to get your ass shot. So we got them in jail, so that's good, man. If I remember, I will update what ends up. They're going, they're going to prison. <laughs> they're going to jail, something, man. So let me see what else I got. Oh, this other part. This. And this is going back to DAP 2030. And... You know, I kind of chuckled at the one thing that David says here, but uh, it really ain't that funny. But I'm going to let you listen to this for a second. And this is Adapt 2030, man. You can go over to his channel. I'll even put it up there so you can see it. So listen. I hope it doesn't come to that point. If you wake up in the news in the morning and that truly has happened, where there was a some sort of device over the Ukraine, or Kazakhstan would be another one, we are literally going to have a famine that same year. Uh, that's really like biblical scary type of uh, you know end times type of thing there on the on the famines and by the way oh I was looking at a couple uh, predictions for the year and here was one economic disaster the prices will get so high in wheat that man will eat man Ooh. meaning the failed economy leads to cannibalism and I'm already looking at a zero barely functioning supply chain no fertilizers no pesticides few herbicides and honey shall cost far more than candle wax. 
So I'm sitting here going, hmm, we're getting pretty close to that. A few more moves on the chessboard and we'll be right there where, then again, it's biblical. You talk about, what was that, a, a day's wage for a, a loaf of bread, something like this. That's what you would expect after that detonation over that. A day's wage for a loaf of bread. Wow. You know, you just mentioned cannibalism. So a uh, very concerning um, trend to see. But there's been in the media a lot of talk of cannibalism over the last year or so. And it sounds crazy. But this is the world that we appear to be going into. And I have the question for you about, you know, cities versus rural living. So if you're in a city and we suffer a catastrophic breakdown of diesel fuel or transportation, then you're, you're in a food desert instantly. Where if you're in a rural area and you've had connections with local farmers and producers of some kind, and you have some surface water, you've got some ponds and streams and so on, you have options. I mean, they may not be pleasant, but you have options. But if you're in a city, you're eating your neighbor, you know? That, I mean, sadly, that's what it seems like it's, it's, it's going to come to unless the global supply chain is fixed here. Yeah, that, you know, and, and that's a great point you brought up because, you know, for me, there's lines I will never cross. But at the same time, when somebody's coming in, a group of people are coming to rob your supplies and overtake you in your home, you know, there's lines you're going to have to draw for yourself mentally before any of this happens. And I already know where a lot of my lines are in, in terms of light versus this dark vibration where we sit in this battle between, you know, literal good and evil. And I've drawn lines everywhere and I will not cross so many of them, regardless of what it happens to me there's just some things that are um yeah i just there's things i will never ever do yeah but, but you got to be ready to make know, those choices already other, other people will cross those lines because we live in a very immoral society right so and, and i know you you realize that i'm just pointing it out that even though you're you're not willing to eat your neighbor your neighbors are probably willing to eat you <laughs> right so well that's where we're going to have a problem <laughs> and that's <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly all right man so you can you can listen to the full i just love that i mean dude, like i said it ain't uh dude it's not funny sorry dude it's not funny at all because it ain't but just the part man where he says that's where we're gonna have a problem absolutely you know uh dude we are in some crazy weird uh bad movie type times man and you have got to start listening paying attention and preparing for whatever who knows dude i mean it may all happen to where we all just get annihilated in a big you know whatever but for any of us that make it through and survive and don't get ate by their neighbor you better have uh have your preps have a, you know a source of water and food man i say it and i preach it to you all the time i know this is kind of an off video and stuff but that was just some things i wanted to share man jump around man from the, the zombies coming up from the flatlands to the them trying to shove now they're gonna try to dude they're gonna try to get us all to take that freaking uh clot shot or you know now it's not gonna be a clot shot it's gonna be you're gonna be eating it and then uh you know, on top of that, you got freaking your neighbors for gonna eat your butt. That's all I got for you, man. So please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Check out the links below in the eBay store and the t-shirts. I ain't gonna take this thing off, but man, I need to show these. I need to make a little commercial for the t-shirts. Check out, uh, man, I haven't done them videos over at Patreon. And man, this next few days, I'm hoping to get one of them filmed over this weekend. Hopefully the, oh, I was gonna do the little tour thing on the Patreon. So hopefully we'll get that, man. No promises. Um, just extremely busy for the next few days. On top of, you know, I got some got wood pulled out. Got to get back out there and saw it up and get it hauled over to here. I'm pretty good. I got enough. I got a couple of weeks out here. I got enough out here right now to get through the cold spell. Because then if it dumps snow on us, it's just... Ah! <laughs> Good Lord willing, and them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.